One important aspect of the innate immune system that I forgot to mention previously are a group of biological molecules known as interferon. So the question that we're going to briefly address in this lecture is how exactly does our innate non-specific immune system deal with pathogens that ultimately end up making their way into the cells of our body such as viruses and other intracellular parasites. So let's take a look at the following diagram. Let's suppose some type of virus infects our cell and this is the infected cell shown in red. So the virus injects some type of RNA or DNA into that cell infecting that cell. Now how exactly does our innate non-specific immune system deal with these types of viral and parasitic infections? Well, what happens is the infected cell begins to produce a biological molecule known as an interferon and we, we have many different types of interferon. So these purple molecules here are the interferon. So the infected cell begins to produce these interferons and the cell releases these interferons to the surrounding environment. Now, what's the function of these interferons? Well, basically we have a bunch of healthy nearby cells shown in blue. And we also have other white blood cells that are in close proximity. For example, we have the natural killer cell and we also have our macrophages, which play a role in the innate immune response. So what these interferons do is they ultimately bind onto the membrane of these healthy blue cells and they prepare those cells for that viral infection. For example, they ensure that these blue cells, healthy cells, begin to produce special types of proteins that essentially are antiviral proteins. They block viral replication from actually taking place. So when this infected cell actually lyses, it breaks open and releases the, new, uh, the newly formed viruses and these viruses eventually make their way to these healthy cells, these nearby healthy cells have already mounted a defense and are ready for that viral attack. Now on top of that, these interferons can also actually bind to these other specialized leukocytes these other specialized white blood cells. So we have macrophages and we have natural killer cells. So once the interferon interacts with the natural killer cell, it essentially guides that killer cell to this infected cell. And what the natural killer cells ultimately do is they destroy the infected cells and they also destroy cancer cells. Now these interferons can also find these macrophages and they can guide the macrophages to the infected cell and these macrophages can ultimately engulf and degrade those infected cells. Now on top of that, one other important aspect of these interferons is if the infection is too far along and the cell cannot be saved, then what the interferon can actually do is, they, is it can initiate, stimulate the cell death of that infected cell. For example, by breaking the lysosomes and releasing the hydrocytic environment into the cytoplasm of that infected cell and that will ultimately kill off our cell. So this is the method by which the innate, the non-specific immune system of our body deals with viruses and other intracellular parasites that actually infect our cells. They use these biological molecules we call interferons.